welcome to the stage, Pete Scadden! G'day guys. Hi. Jesus, that's my mum. I shouldn't have sent out the invite on Facebook. You always risk that with family. Actually, I might talk about family tonight now. <laughs> You're done for now. No, no. Uh, my name is Heath. Uh, you know, like Heath Ledger. A bit like him, actually. Um, I'm Australian born. I also like to play the Joker at times. And uh, actually, there's been at least two times where I've been told I look exactly like a dead body. So. <laughs> <laughs> On a positive note, um, something else about me. Uh, I'm married uh, to kids, as in two kids, not two, two kids. Um, and yeah, send the police back out. <laughs> Just a slip of the word. But yeah, uh, Actually, my missus and I have been together for 20 years, so um, yeah, doing really good. Oh, we are! <laughs> Some of the people look actually shocked, don't feel bad. Uh, I actually was really surprised too that she stuck around after sober and up after the wedding night, so <laughs> we're all in the same boat there. Um, yeah, but I was one of those people that sort of like wanted to have a bit of input as a bloke, you know, into the wedding. Um, so, you know, I definitely, one of the important things for me was you know, with the, uh, you know, like the, the bridal party. I wanted them all to be family, uh, except my wife. Um, you know. <laughs> uh, that was important to me, that we not be related, so, you know, little things. Uh, but the rest of them were, you know, like cousins or, you know, other rellos and stuff like that. So, um, but, you know, I was really strict about their jobs and what they had to do. So uh, I told the ushers they had to usher. Uh, the groomsmen, they had to be well groomed. And uh, the little ring bearer. <laughs> not to. <laughs> yeah, that's um. So he didn't bear his ring for uh, people that are a bit confused. But yeah, um, and my best man, I ended up having the best bloke I knew, uh, my sister. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was actually pretty progressive. Because that's back before you got to pick what you were born as. Um, so, yeah, really good. She did all right. Uh, my bloke, you know, the blokey mates and blokey friends and family, uh, they weren't too happy with her because uh, she organised the Bucks party. So uh, they thought Sash was uh, the name of the stripper. Uh, ended up being like this pageant thing that they strip across you, I don't know. Um, and all us blokes, we got facials. Yeah, instead of giving them, so they were a bit confused. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we ended up cancelling uh, the cocktails just in case that was code for dildo party. Um, but in the end, it was pretty good, you know, like looking back now, like I've got a little family, so that's pretty good. Uh, anybody out there that is planning on being a parent one day soon? No? Good. Oh, far out. I don't need to give you the advice then. Um, although you still got to take one thing into consideration is, you know, lying and stuff like that? Like, really save up those lies when they really need to be used. Because, um, you know, say for instance, like I'm talking hypothetically, say somebody said to his missus, uh, yeah, sure, I have protection. Um, yeah, that might start off as a little white lie. But in the end, that shit grows, yeah, into kids. Mm. Um, no, I actually do enjoy being a dad. Uh, coming in here tonight, or like arriving here tonight, uh, before I left, uh, my daughter and son were in the car as I was dropping them off at the babysitters, and uh, my daughter said to me, Dad, make sure you don't make any mistakes. So, yeah. I was like, no, no, in, in life I've learnt to love my mistakes. <laughs> Just like you and your little brother. And, you know, like at the start she was like, no, hi! <laughs> like, and she's the quick one. My son was in the back of the car, you know, like a little bit slower, a lot slower. Um, and she, he full on went full Pauline Hanson. He's like, please explain. Dad, please explain. 
but um, yeah, you can't pick them, eh? So um, yeah, some family you really can't pick, uh, or unless you know, yeah, at an orphanage or something like that, you know, with uh, chloroform. So you know, that'd be pretty good. You know, you you could be like, um, oh, I want this one in that colour, and this one in that colour, and this one. Oh, I feel like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> No, but um, yeah, I actually, I do tell my kids on the regular, sometimes twice daily, they're adopted. Um, but that does remind me, I do have a bit of a regret. Like just, you know, with my kids and um, just telling them so many lies. Because uh, these days I don't believe any of them. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> I'm